I'm going to show you how to set out for a carport. So some of the tools you'll need for this will be a couple of scrap pieces of timber, hammers, nail, string line, builder square, set square, nail gun, level, and the plans that we must adhere to. First thing we have to do is set up our hurdles and string line using the measurements that we have off our plan. Hurdles are used to drive into the ground so you're able to lay your string lines out for your measurements. I'm lucky enough to have this sleeper here and this will be my starting point for my first hurdle. We know that the height of our carport slab has to be the same height as our pavers, so therefore we want our post to sit just a little bit higher than our slabs. Next thing we need to do is set up our string lines. To do that, I'm going to take two measurements off my wall to make sure that the string line is running parallel to my house. Next, I need to drive this off-cut piece of timber here. As I don't want to damage my, uh, my pavers, I'm just going to tap it in between the join. That's where I'll be starting my string line. Next, I need to take my second measurement so I know that I'm running parallel off my house. So all these measurements are from my approved plan. Once you've found your mark, simply drive your nail in. Next, I need to run my string line, which I'm going to run past the required length of my carport. Next, I need to install my second lot of hurdles as we will pass our required length of our carport. Now I can pull my string line tight. Once it hits the nail down there, I know I'm straight. I can then mark it with my pencil. Once you've found your mark, simply drive your nail in. Next, I need to run my string line. I now need to find the same heights as I've got over there. To do that, I'm going to use these two pieces of block and a timber. Once there, I can then make my marks. I can now nail the timber to the fence. So we know it's square, we're going to take the same measurements on this side parallel to my paving. Once you've found your mark, simply drive your nail in. Now that I've got my timber secured to the fence, I'm able to run my string line. So now we're going to check our measurements. So we know it's square. Now all I have to do is repeat the process and run two more parallel lines. It's important to identify all trip hazards with fluorescent line marking paint. And that's how you set out for a carport. Thank you.